What is up, guys? Welcome back to this episode two of the series, the third episode I've actually made. I know it gets a little bit confusing, but hopefully after this episode, it will stop being quite as confusing. But anyways, I hope you guys are ready because today is the day. Today's the day where we go over literally everything I have done and everything that you have missed while I was on vacation the last weekend. Now this video is not coming out on a Tuesday like the past two have. My original plan was an order was ordered to uh, upload every single Tuesday and give you guys one video a week, but uh, just based on how much time I've had to work on the server, that doesn't seem like enough. So we're gonna give you a couple more videos a week. But I mean, obviously in the later game, once we start getting into really huge projects that take a lot longer, then you know we're, we might have to dial it back. But for now, you guys just enjoy it. Enjoy the uh, enjoy the extra videos that you guys get. But uh, anyways, first thing that we have to get into is a couple of simple farms I built a long, long time ago. Now those are all back here. You might be able to see them on the map, but let's go take a look at them for ourselves because you guys actually get to see what I was hiding in the previous video, which is this absolute monstrosity right here. There's a bunch of ads, so let's clear these out real quick. There we go. I totally didn't just let them burn to death and ended up just taking a lot of hits. This farm right here, if you do not recognize it, is Nimbom's Iron Farm. And as you can see, this zombie runs around on this track, and as he moves, on Java Edition, there's a little feature I like to call the scare feature. And if you scare a villager with a zombie in a village big enough to house Iron Golems, they will actually force spawn an Iron Golem. So this guy runs around on this track, force spawning four Iron Golems every, every couple of seconds. And uh, boy, oh boy, is it efficient. Now, we just emptied these, so these are all, all empty. There's no iron in pretty much any of them. Uh, but considering we just emptied them, the fact that the bottom chest is uh, already pretty full, this is, uh, this is pretty much going to be more iron than we could ever need. Uh, well, I say that, but no, we got some big projects down the line. But this is going to be absolutely amazing and vital for our future projects, which is going to be awesome. In the center here, We've got this lovely pumpkin and melon farm, and you may notice on the top there is glass. That is because this iron farm is very, very delicate, and uh, I did not think that this would be high enough to interfere with this farm, but that was kind of stupid, because when I built it, some iron golems started spawning on top of here and messing up the iron farm, so I had to put glass on top of it to prevent farms, uh, excuse me, to prevent spawns and stuff like that. But this pumpkin and melon farm is actually incredibly efficient, and it is basically providing me with all my emeralds when I trade with the villagers. What is this little warped fungus doing in there? Um, so it's uh, it's really pumping away. And it's unfortunate that we haven't seen anything grow yet. Because it's making me look like a liar. Uh, but I will show you how I built these farms. And unfortunately I did take a look at it. And the footage of me constructing the iron farm was, was, was corrupted. It just... It, it didn't look good. It was, it was really bad. I don't. Oh, look! It, it harvested. You saw it. Why isn't it picking it up? Is that racism? Oh my God, that's racism. No, I'm messing with you. Uh, yeah, it's corrupted. I don't know what happened to it and why why it got that way. But it just um, yeah, it didn't look good. So unfortunately, I have no footage of me constructing the iron farm. Just just trust me that I did it, and I, I'm not cheating here. I did all of this. Getting that zombie was a pain in the butt. Uh, but I do have like. A full footage reel of me constructing this pumpkin and melon farm uh, which is uh, hopefully gonna be really entertaining for you guys to watch now when I built this I messed up multiple times and I did not do it correct in, in most ways I had to like go back and change it and it was such a pain in the butt so if you build it I highly recommend just going and watching Il Mango's video this is a design by Il Mango um, it's a it's a pretty old design but it still works so it's fine um, but I would highly recommend just going and watching that video. Do not try to build it based off what you are about to see. But enough with my warning, let's get you guys right into that.
so yeah I mean that was it as you could see I messed up putting in the uh, pumpkins and melons I put them in wrong like twice or something which is like how do you even do that it's a pumpkin and melon farm just plant them but uh, I messed that up like twice I had to put the glass in because of the freaking iron golem you saw me kill one there and actually the note blocks and sandstone I swapped them so I put the note blocks where the sandstone was supposed to be in the sandstone and I, just, I had to go it, it was a whole mess I messed up multiple multiple times it was uh I did it without watching the video just looking at the image and going yeah I got that and uh, I ended up messing it up pretty bad so I would suggest not doing that if I were if I were you but um yeah, anyways, we this, uh, luckily, this crappy little pumpkin and melon farm that I messed up on isn't the only thing we've been working on. Uh, you may notice that, one, the trees here are, like, gone. We have totally demolished them. That's because we need a lot of chests for another project that we've been working on. And this one, this is a big one, guys. This is a big project. This is a, this is something I've been working on, something I've been wanting to make since episode zero. I mentioned it. And if you're smart, you know what it is. I'm going to go on my way there. But while I'm on my way there, I'm actually going to show you a quick clip of me messing around with a buddy of mine in Nebula. Um, and why my sword here is named his bare hands like a boss. So while I'm on my way to this uh, this mega farm, I'm going to let you guys check that out. Or actually, no, you, no, no, actually, don't kill it. You, could, you can hold it in your hand and do slash display item. No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to kill. I want to. I want it to show up. Check it out. That's the thing. It's like that's why. It, fine. Go, go, go. It, it'll. You sure it'll display if I kill it? If it doesn't it display, should. can I kill you? Say yes. No, actually, no, because we'll lose power. <clears throat> okay. It His bare display. hands like a boss. Looting three mending shirt. Oh, wow. Damn. Did it display for you? Yeah. It didn't display for me. Like boss. It's cause it's cause it was my dog, so like. Oh, for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. Oh, I want everyone to see it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's. I it's named I my sword it. "His Bare Hands Like a Boss!" Exclamation point. And I made it all lowercase so that whenever um, whenever I kill someone, it'll say blank was killed by blank using his bare hands like a boss. Oh. Yeah. That's. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that's why I named my sword His Bare Hands Like a Boss. I have not got to actually test that out yet uh, to see if it works, but this is the farm that I have been working on. Excuse the shulker here, it's pointless. But uh, as you can probably tell by the decor, we have got ourselves a guardian farm up and running, and that is how I am sitting pretty on 47 levels, and all my stuff is fully repaired. Uh, it is look at this thing look at it i am the only one on the oop, oopsie i'm the only one no i'm not there's one other person on the server right now uh but that's probably why it's just pumping out at such a quick rate that it is and some of these some of the guardians end up dying in the lava out there but the ones that don't die have like half health left so i don't understand why it's it's like that but um it's fine you honestly don't even need to make it any more efficient because it's um it's kind of nuts as is uh as you can see i've been using it quite a bit uh, I already have two double chests full of the Guardian materials, but um, uh, eventually all this stuff will probably get full, but I, I put in a bunch of storage because we're probably going to be using this thing throughout the entirety of this season here. But anyways, it's pretty awesome. You basically just come up here and you just... You get a bunch of kills and watch my XP jump. We've gone from 47 to 49 in just a few seconds that we've been here. That's kind of awesome, considering the fact that it's super hard to get from 47 to 49. And we've just been here for a couple of seconds. But also, as you can see, there's a couple guardians uh, just swimming around in the ocean. We need we need to work on that, uh, and we will fix it. But let me, let me show you guys how this was built pretty much for now. Now, this is a, a farm that was designed by Cubfan. He is one of the Hermitcraft members. Uh, so I didn't design this one by myself either. I did slightly tweak it to mod uh, to be the size I want it to be. Uh, but you may recognize it. This is a bubble bubble column farm. So if we go down here, and I won't, I don't have water breathing or a conduit set up, so we can't stay down here for too long. But you can see there's soul sand there. When the guardians spawn, they get pushed up into these little water streams here. Let me get back up on here. 
and then from these water streams they get pushed over here down into our kill chambers now this guy's trying to fight it i think he probably knows i'm here uh but anyways yeah if you look literally all of these are fence gates that i had to place down and then open and then i had to place down all these water streams any anything that's water above this uh this like ocean level i had to place all that in all this glass uh and honestly it was a pain in the butt and the way that i went about doing it was obviously i made a lot of water breathing potions and then i also went ahead and tore down the ocean monument i had some help with that but unfortunately i was out of town when attacking the monument tearing it down and just, just doing a lot of that stuff so i don't have footage of any of it but this was a massive project and i knew it was going to take a while and i just i didn't want to postpone it because it was, i knew it was something that we needed um so so yeah sorry about that i hope you guys forgive me uh but eventually we're gonna wrap the outside layer of this thing with magma blocks so all these guardians that swim out like that one right there won't actually be able to oh guardian won't actually be able to escape the farm they either choose death by magma blocks or death by my sword or this isn't working quite right so i guess death by lava is an option too but uh anyways it's um i don't i don't have any footage making the farm really but i do have so in order to place in these water streams and fence gates i had to place down a whole layer of cobblestone right here that i could walk on and i actually do have footage of me and a buddy of mine you know going and trying to clear out that cobblestone it was it was a mess and we ended up giving up a few times and then having to come back later i don't have any glass to repair this which kind of sucks remind me to do that because it's going to drive me mad um but i'm gonna go afk at this guardian farm real quick while you guys watch that so i hope you guys enjoy just me messing around and almost getting killed a few times by guardians so here's your, your potion of water breathing you should probably Sheesh. only need one and we're gonna go over here oh gosh Oof. try to get up i need to drink my potion come up here just on like on top of the the farm like outside the farm I'm getting lag, bro. Okay, oh, here's what we need to do. Yes. We can come into the farm, and we need to break all this cobblestone in the floor of the farm. Okay, Ladies let's first. go. Ladies first. Um, I have to place the glass back, so. All right. Cool. I say, honestly, we probably don't have to be in the farm to Just do this. Just break all I figured, of it? Yeah, all the, well, the stuff that's not under the glass, you can leave it. But all the stuff that's like, you know, just like here doesn't have glass, go ahead and break it. Running. I got a, I got the I got the potion, but oh my god, I'm at half a heart. Please, guardian, please leave me alone. Just slash home, just slash home, just slash home. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do it. Leave me alone. Slash home. I'm slash homing. It didn't work. It, oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> rude. I uh I think I accidentally um. I think I accidentally um closed some of those fence gates. So. Dude, there's literally like oh my gosh, there's twenty there's. Oh! Oh! Wait, you, oh my gosh, there's so many! I'm slash homing. No, dude. Oh, are there's you out? No you just shot. leave? You slash home? Yeah, th okay. there were like 20 freaking... I'm going back. I don't... We gotta do it. So, yeah. I mean, that, uh, what you saw just happened, happened about, uh, 10 more times where we went and tried to clear out some of the cobblestone and ended up taking too much damage and having to retreat. But, uh, boy, oh boy, was it worth it, because eventually we did get this thing working. And I mean, look at just the number of guardians that are pouring in here. It's just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's, oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't kind of AFK like I said I would. I mean, you know, that video went by a lot faster than I thought it would. But oh my gosh, just look at this. In those few seconds, we went up a whole level, which is like, like sure, I guess not a whole lot. But oh my gosh, for any other farm, going from 50 to 51 would take forever. It's just, I love this farm. I love it. It was worth every second of it, even though it's still got some minor tweaks. But yeah, we've got a lot of diamond tools that we still haven't even talked about. So we're rocking full diamond armor. My helmet is my hard hat. The only thing that's missing here is respiration three. And I guess none of my sets have thorns. I could have done that. But yeah, so this helmet does need respiration three. And actually, now that I look at it, it needs protection. 
Um, I don't know. I know these have fire protection, blast protection, prop four. So this would use projectile. So yeah, I need some projectile protection and respiration. And then I guess thorns if I want to. Um, my chest piece here, my sexy bra, is uh, it's pretty much decked out. I can't think of another thing that it needs. I'm pretty sure it's good. Uh, my fancy cup here uh, is uh, also rocking and rolling. Pretty awesome. And then my hard socks, question mark? I guess if you get it, you get it. Uh, but it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's pretty much set, other than thorns, if I want to put that on there, too. And I've also got my His Bare Hands Like a Boss, which has pretty much every single enchant you could want, other than Fire Aspect or Knock Back, which, uh, honestly, I don't want them. Because, uh, honestly, Fire Aspect I don't like, because like, if I'm trying to kill Endermen, it's like, ugh, you know. Um, knock Back... I might put some knockback on it, but I, I don't know. Usually I don't, but I'm also used to playing on Bedrock, where it doesn't have the Sweeping Edge function. So with Sweeping Edge, knockback might be kind of useful. Anyways, other than that, we've got our Fortunate Sun, which is pretty much decked out. I can't really think of another enchantment that could go on here. Um, and then we've got our Blueberry Smoothie, which has pretty much all the same enchantments as here, but no Unbreaking. Uh, our Unbreaking Villager died, and we need to get a new one. Uh, my Ace's Spade, um, which is kind of a joke if you guys don't know. My real name, uh, when I'm not going by Deester, is Ace. So this Ace's Spade is, uh, it's like, it's my spade. It's pretty pretty funny, I guess. Uh, whatever. Anyways, it has Fortune, which, like, when would, would you ever want Fortune on a shovel? That's just, I just happened to get it when I table, like, uh, enchantment tabled it. So I just, we need a new spade. This one kind of sucks. Um, and then we've got Zichapa. Which is uh, efficiency five, mending self touch, and I'm breaking three. Which is a uh, pretty pretty awesome axe we have here. We're pretty much set. We've also got eagles wings. Yeah, we've got some elytra boys. Uh, a couple of the other neb nebula buddies. They've already gone to the end, and they gave me some elytra. And I've been I've been refraining from using them. I did not use them at all in the making of this guardian farm. Uh, however, I did use them just recently for the first time, a little bit in the Nether to find a fortress because I wanted to get started on my last and final project for this episode. But I'll let you guys see what I was up to. So for my mega base, I wanted to start and clear out a massive amount of area. And in order to do so, I really didn't want to do that just kind of kind of normally. So uh, I took to the nether. I found a giant monument. Well, not a giant, but a pretty big nether fortress. I went ahead and made a marker for it. And then I started looking for some wither skeleton skulls. Can you see where I'm going with this? I'm I'm pretty sure you can. We were only there for a few minutes. I think it only took like 30 to 40, and we managed to get all three skulls. Now eventually we're gonna turn this nether fortress into a wither skeleton farm, and you know it'll be a lot quicker than that, a a lot lot quicker. But uh, it didn't take too long, even even with the help of a, a buddy of mine, where we got three skulls pretty quickly and uh needless to say i was uh i was pretty excited about it So my next step was to then venture off into the nether, where we actually already had a pathway set up to another nether portal that would take us straight to the end, so we could fight the wither. How do you, how do you Here's do it? Here's how work. Here's how it should work. In you can theory, burn. when I spawn it back up, back up. When I spawn it in. Oh, you spawn it like that. Yeah, when I spawn it in, it's gonna get stuck in the nether, and, and we don't have to do anything for the most part. We just kind of. Oh, we could just like go much. as close as we can, and we could just. In that's ideal situation. Um, I'm screen sharing. On ideal situation, oh, wait, I, because we're on a server, sharing. he glitches up and goes through the portal and ends up at spawn. Or no way. Um, he he comes out here and we have to fight him. Oh, Legit. He, he, he I hope spawn, you guys right? have bows because I do not. I, I do have, have a Lytra. Launcher, so. I do have a Lytra. Okay, so back up. Get out. Get out. Get wait, out. wait. Because okay. he's smite gonna five explode, five so you're gonna have to back up. If you have smite five and strength two, you can like two blow up, dude. I'm super far away. I'm far okay, away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it. You guys ready? I'm Two just killing Endermans. Down. You ready? Yep. Let's go. I, I misclicked. <laughs> That's embarrassing. You're so good, bro. You're actually the best. 
Let's do this room. Like the explosion. Let's go. Wait, Look at that. Wait, triple, wait. triple, 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 triple achievement right there. Uh, there yeah. Up. He should just take in. damage. Don't hit him. Don't, let's don't hit him. Oh, yeah, he okay. should just kill himself. Hey, let's I don't go. know if you can hit him. I think you can hit him, but I'm not sure. I don't I really know if I want to test it, to be honest. Let's risk it. No, don't risk it. Oh, okay, we can. Wait, wait, he's moving, he's moving. Just stop hitting him. He's just spinning, he's just spinning, he's just spinning. Yeah, we can hit him. You freaking ballsy, Vortex. It's too easy, bro. I got it, I got the star. I got the star. Let's go. I'll go a little bit too. So, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what we wanted to kill that wither for. If you take a look right outside that window, we got ourselves a beacon, boys. And that beacon is currently set to give me haste 2, which if I can remove this, you can see, haste 2, which I'm using for a big dig project down there. But uh, that's all That's all going to be in the next episode. For today, you've done everything. You've seen everything there is no more to hide. You've seen all the villagers, all the iron farm, the melon farm, the pumpkin and whatever all the diamonds the guardian farm you've seen you've seen everything there is to see uh and without further ado we're gonna have to end this video today's video has been a long one because there's a lot of stuff that you guys need to catch up on but hopefully that means that next episode there's nothing that you guys won't be in the know on wow i can actually look outside i was unaware that i could do this with f5 mode but anyways that's all i got for you guys today and i will catch you in the next one stay beautiful peace